The simplest antibody molecule is depicted as a Lee-shaped structure, consisting of four protein subunits, or four polypeptide chains. The two longer subunits are called heavy chains and are identical to each other. They have a molecular mass of 50 to 75 kilodalton. The two shorter subunits are also identical to each other. They are called light chains and have a molecular mass of about 25 kilodalton. Each light chain is connected to its partner heavy chain by a disulfide bond between corresponding cysteine residues. The two heavy chains are also connected to one another via disulfide bonds located outside of the antigen binding regions. This disulfide linkage between different chains is called interchain linkage or interchain disulfide bond. While intrachain disulfide bond is also present within heavy and light chains, providing strength to chain structure. Each chain has two terminals. One having amino group at the end is called N-terminal, and another terminal ending on carboxyl group is called C-terminal. Further analysis of antibody structure shows that both the heavy and the light chains have folded, repeating substructures called domains. These domains are regions of approximately 110 amino acids within the heavy and light chains. The heavy chain of the immunoglobulin molecule has four or five domains, and the light chain has two domains. The domains at the end terminal of the heavy and light chains are called the variable domains, presented as VVH and VL, respectively. Why they are called variable? Because the amino acid sequences of these domains were found to differ from antibody to antibody. This variability is limitized to 110 amino acids usually. On the other hand, the remaining domains are called constant region domains because they do not differ to the same extent from antibody to antibody. The heavy chain constant domains are called CH1, CH2, and CH3, whereas the light chain constant domain is called CL. An antibody molecule has to perform dual tasks. First, of binding to a wide variety of antigens. Second, binding to effector molecules to destroy the antigen. Well, to fulfill this role, its structure requires great variability so that it can detect millions of different antigens. This requirement is fulfilled by variable domains. At the same time, it also requires structural resemblance for common functions with other antibody molecule. So it needs constant region as well. This requirement is fulfilled by constant domains. The variable regions of both light and heavy chains make two identical antigen binding segments, called as fragments antigen binding or FAB. It is usually made up of one variable and one constant domain of both light and heavy chains. While the constant domains of heavy chains make a crystallizable region that has ability to stimulate effector molecules is called fragment crystallizable or FC. FC region determines the mechanism used to destroy antigen, whereas the FEAB region makes it enable to bind specific antigen. In any given immunoglobulin molecule, the two heavy chains and the two light chains are identical, giving an antibody molecule two identical antigen binding sites. This gives the antibody the ability to bind simultaneously to two identical antigens on a surface, thereby increasing the total strength of the interaction, which is called its avidity. The variable domain of FAB segment is further subdivided into hypervariable HV regions and framework, FR, regions. Hypervariable regions have a high ratio of different amino acids in a given position relative to the most common amino acid in that position. Within light and heavy chains, three hypervariable regions exist, HV1, HV2, and HV3. The HV regions directly contact a portion of the antigen's surface. Another way to say this is that the antigen binding site of the antibody is complementary in shape to the antigenic epitope. For this reason, 
H3 regions are also sometimes referred to as complementarity determining regions, or CDRs. Whereas FR regions are those that have more stable amino acid sequence, four FR regions present in variable domain that separate these AFI regions. The FR regions form a beta sheet structure which serves as a scaffold to hold the HV regions in position to contact antigen. Between the CH1 and CH2 domains of the heavy chain is a region containing several prolanes. This makes this part of the molecule quite flexible, and it is therefore known as the hinge region. This hinge region provides flexibility to the antibody structure, thus helping in having high affinity for antigens. Also, this region is more exposed to proteolytic enzymes because of the presence of prolanes. So this was all about the structure of antibody. Now let's learn about its classes in next section.